Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Hardison with Sea Dog Travels, and welcome to another one of our uh, cruise and travel webinars. And this month, we are uh, very excited to have Kevin Mordant uh, with Region 7 Seas, who's going to tell us about the latest happenings with uh, Region 7 Seas and how uh, the cruise line tries to differentiate and make themselves different, uh, especially in the luxury cruise market. And so, Kevin, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much. And thank you all for taking the time to hear about Region 7 Seas Cruises and why we offer an unrivaled ocean cruising experience. So to begin, I always ask everyone, uh, I invite you to think about what you enjoy most from your vacation. Is it the destination that you're traveling to? Is it maybe some of the culinary experiences you will enjoy? Or is it the accommodations that you have along the way? Well, at Region 7 Seas Cruises, we try to achieve all three of those things each and every time. So we do this because we begin, we, we believe that starting with luxury and as a starting point, a base point, using luxury as a base point is a great way to then enhance the overall experience while, while our guests are on board. None of the guests are going to be treated like a number. We have small capacity ships with a large capacity feel. Um, there is never any lines or crowds on board Region 7 Seas Cruises. Everyone is an individual and is treated as such. To achieve this unrivaled ocean cruising experience, we do so through our brand pillars going from left to right. You have immersive exploration, personalized service, Epicurean perfection, unrivaled space at sea, and then every luxury included. So beginning with immersive exploration, you know, our ships, as I mentioned, we, we call them uh, small ships with a large capacity feel because they are medium sized vessels is how I would classify them with the exception of one ship in our fleet, which is actually a small vessel, but they are medium sized vessels and medium sized capacity or even small capacity with our largest ships only holding 750 guests. We can get to these destinations and those ports of call that some of those larger cruise lines just cannot. We are always looking to enhance and improve the overall cruising experience by trying to visit new destinations off the beaten path, maybe less traveled by those that are into traveling and have traveled quite a bit. So here is a map of the world, and these are just, you know, the majority of the destinations that we sail to. Um, of course, you couldn't fit everything there, but to take it a step further, we really try to maximize everyone's time in country and in their destination. One of our main components to this unrivaled ocean experience is that we include our shore excursions. So this helps to add to that overall immersive experience because in every port of call, the guests are going to get to choose from a handful of tours, not just one bus tour, but a list of tours that range in activity level. And it's very often that guests can even do more than one tour in a day, as long as timing and availability will allow. In select destinations like Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, South America, we actually include a complimentary land package for two or three nights prior or post sailing. And these packages include accommodations, meals, tours, and in certain cases, even a flight if necessary. Then moving further to that immersive um, exploration, we offer on some of our longer voyages that are 60 nights or longer, we offer overland packages where you all can choose to disembark the ship for a few days and do some touring on land in a specific port of call that drew you to this vacation to begin with. And now you can then rejoin the ship later on and continue cruising. So we are always looking at ways to improve the immersive exploration program, something that we implemented a few years back, um, just before the pandemic actually, was our Go Local Tours. You'll see those here uh, listed on the next slide. These tours 
are something that we implemented for those guests that we know have traveled extensively and have been to many of, let's say, the more popular or larger ports quite often and feel that they've seen all the sites and pretty much know uh, the port very well. So there's not much of a draw for them. Well, we implemented the Go Local Tours where the guests can then go and see what a day in the life of a local is like. Um, their host will be a local. And in some cases, they're even invited back to this person's home for a home cooked meal. So a great way to see a very familiar port in a new light. We visit over 350 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Uh, we visit over 450 ports around the globe. Um, in our concierge levels and above, concierge category is a mid-tier category and above. We include a pre-cruise hotel for one night prior to sailing. We understand that with many of the destinations that our cruise offerings have, it's going to require a flight to arrive to the destination to then begin your cruise. So why not get that concierge level Get yourself a night, a pre-cruise hotel night, so that you can unwind after a stressful day of traveling and then just be in the perfect mindset to board your ship and enjoy your vacation the following day. We also have something new called our Immersive Overnights Experience, and apologies for changing the slide there, but we have six unique voyage voyages and itineraries where rather than doing the traditional uh, stop at every single port or trying to do a stop every single day, we have shifted gears to bridge the cap, the gap between those guests that enjoy traveling by land and those that uh, enjoy cruising. So now we have these six voyages offering instead of a different port every night, we have maybe only three or four ports and each stop is an overnight stop in said port so that the guests have more time to explore and uh, tour the said port. So six offerings right now with more to come in our next itinerary launch. So keep an eye out for that, but just more ways that we're looking to enhance the exploration program. Of course, we're gonna get everyone there in comfort and luxury. Uh, the crew on board is unlike any other. They are the ones that truly build this unrivaled experience for you all. But I can share a, a little story from my personal experience when I sailed back uh, uh, to Alaska on Regent a couple years back. This happened to be my first Regent cruise. And when I sailed, I actually went with a few colleagues from Regent as well. One of my colleagues that was sailing along with me, this was his second voyage. And he had sailed on a different ship to a different region of the world a year prior. But our crew rotate, and there was a crew member on board our Alaska voyage that on embarkation day approached my colleague, remembered his first name, and brought him his favorite drink, which was an Arnold Palmer, to welcome him back on board after a year of not sailing. So that is the kind of personalized experience that you all can expect from the incredible staff on board, and they're really there to make every day unrivaled. Of course, uh, Epicurean Perfection, this is the term for our culinary program, absolutely phenomenal. You can see here that 14-layer uh, chocolate cake is to die for. You can get that at Prime 7, I highly recommend it. But here you have all of the dining venues as they stand today. So going from left to right, we have our main dining venue across our entire fleet. This is called Compass Rose. We affectionately call her our largest specialty restaurant at sea, but she is open seating, open dining, no reservations required, and every meal is made to order. So you all can choose what protein, what sides, what sauces, how it's prepared. And then even in the evenings for dinner, you can order select menu options from some of the specialty restaurants on board. We accommodate many diets, so kosher, uh, vegetarian, uh, gluten-free, whatever the case may be, you let us know at least 60 days prior to sailing so we can make sure that we can accommodate everything throughout your entire vacation. But moving on, we have Prime 7, our steak and seafood option. This is a very popular specialty restaurant. 
all of our restaurants are included at no additional cost. We just ask that you all make a reservation. We allow one reservation per restaurant, per specialty restaurant, excuse me, prior to sailing. But once you get on board, you can make as many as time and availability will allow. Continuing on, we have Pacific Rim. This is our newest specialty restaurant offering and is currently only available on our three newest ships within the fleet. So that would be the Seven Seas Explorer, Seven Seas Splendor, and Seven Seas Grandeur. And this is an Asian American fusion restaurant. Very delicious. I got to dine in there this past December for uh, the christening of the Seven Seas Grandeur. So a uh, wonderful experience, highly recommend it. And that was the last restaurant I hadn't tried yet. So now I can say I've tried them all. Of course, we have our French inspired specialty restaurant, Chartreuse. La Veranda is an alfresco uh, option. It's open for breakfast and lunch, and it is more of your buffet style dining experience. But the great thing about this location is that it's on the aft of the ship. And like I said, does offer alfresco dining on the deck, on the aft deck of the ship. So if you're in a very picturesque location, highly recommend enjoying a meal up there. So you can just get the 360 views of the wonderful port that you're in. Then in the evening, this restaurant, La Veranda, will be converted to our Italian restaurant, Sete Mari. That translates to seven seas. And Sete Mari is not a specialty restaurant, so no reservations required. Dine with whomever, whenever. Last but not least, on the embarkation day, when you all board the ship, while your suite is, become, is getting prepared and becoming available, we ask that you all go and enjoy a wonderful lunch at our pool grill. The pool grill space is absolutely phenomenal. We have, uh, we can accommodate all weather and uh, colder, warm climates. And they utilize this space for special events on board. So when I did my cruise to Alaska, we did a wonderful salmon bake up on the pool grill. So we had every different variation of salmon prepared multiple different ways. It was absolutely phenomenal. And then last but not least, in-suite dining. So highly recommend the in-suite dining. I can't say enough great things about it. In my cruise, um, because we include shore excursions, you're going to have days where you're pretty uh, packed with uh, things to do. And you may not have the energy to come back on board and change and head back out to dinner. So I recommend enjoying the in-suite dining, where if you order dinner to your suite, it is brought course by course. You can choose to dine on your own veranda if you'd like, as we are all suite, all veranda ships. And I could say that I enjoyed a breakfast in suite as well as a dinner in suite, and neither one disappointed. Moving along, we're going to get you to these destinations in comfort and luxury. I ask you all that enjoy luxury travel by land to consider this as an option where your hotel just follows you to these amazing destinations that you're traveling to. So when I say that we are all inclusive, I truly mean that your flight, your cruise fare, excuse me, will include flights. If your cruise begins within North America, we include economy air with an option to purchase first class air. If your cruise begins outside of North America, where there is going to be a transcontinental flight involved, we guarantee business class air for that transcontinental flight. If you choose to keep the air we have packaged in, then we offer complimentary transfers. We will take you from the airport to your hotel arrangements, from those hotel arrangements to the ship, and then back from uh, back to the airport from the ship post-cruise. If you prefer to book your flights using points or miles, you can package the air out, but keep in mind, you will not have the transfers either. Specialty dining we covered, all included. We just ask that you make a reservation. We allow, once again, one reservation per restaurant prior to sailing. Uh, but once you get on board, you can make as many as time and availability will allow. All uh, premium drinks, fine wines, premium spirits, they are all included. We just have some upper premium wines and spirits with a cost, but the majority of premium wines and spirits are all included. We spoke about shore excursions. 
I would say about 85% of the shore excursion offerings that we have are included with 15% being available to purchase. An example of a purchasable tour would be a flight seeing tour up to the Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska, where you're then going to go dog sledding, or maybe a private tour of the Vatican in Rome with a, a group of only like 10 individuals. So these types of tours will still have a cost, but they are very competitively priced. And again, the majority of our tours are included, no additional cost, and you all can do more than one tour in a day. Internet, we understand how important it is, especially this day and age, for everyone to remain connected. Maybe you're still managing a business back at home. Uh, maybe you just want to rub it in your friends and family's faces of how great of a time you're having on your vacation. Well, through the pandemic, we upgraded all of our systems to Starlink. So the connectivity on board has never been better and you get unlimited use throughout your entire voyage. We spoke about the pre-cruise hotel. So in that concierge level and above, you get a complimentary hotel for one night prior to sailing. This is crucial for those voyages that are gonna require a long flight to and from to begin. Uh, I highly recommend considering this hotel option or the category that includes a hotel option due to that long day of travel. Finally, we include gratuities within our cruise fare. This means that the crew is taken care of up front, which translates to the service you all receive on board. And then last but not least, something that was born of the pandemic and we are so happy that it stayed around, the valet laundry service. We understand the guests are going to be traveling for at least seven days, if not more. And that's going to require some luggage and a lot of different outfits and changing. And you might have a more casual attire during the day while you're doing tours to then have something more formal in the evening, even though Regent does not have any formal requirements on board. The only uh, dress code that Regent has in the evenings is called Country Club Casual. So for gentlemen, no jacket, long sleeve, button down are required. We just ask that you have a collared shirt, polo is fine. No jeans, no sneakers. And then for ladies, no shorts, sandals. So pretty much anything that, that uh, falls under the country club casual dress code is implemented at 6 p.m. on public spaces on board the ship. Um, but going back to the valet laundry, this is a huge service. We have the laundrettes on board, which are small little rooms where the guests you all can use to do your laundry yourself if you so choose. But you also have this unlimited valet laundry service where you'll give them whatever items you want them to launder and press. They will take it from you, clean it, gift wrap it, and fold it perfectly in a, in a gift package and deliver it back to your suite. Uh, within 24 hours. So huge, huge service. And this allows you all to travel lighter. You know, you don't have to pack as much because now you're able to do your laundry on board. So continuing on, here is our fleet as it stands. Starting from left to right, we have uh, the most recent delivery, the Seven Seas Grandeur, then her two sister ships, Seven Seas Splendor, Seven Seas Explorer, all three of those vessels hold around 750 guests, but our entire fleet have about a one-to-one -one passenger to crew ratio. Um, so the service on board any of these vessels is absolutely incredible. Moving on, we have our Seven Seas Mariner, Seven Seas Voyager. Those two vessels hold 700 passengers each. And then our most intimate, most beloved vessel, the Seven Seas Navigator, she is only 490 guests and uh, has somewhat of a cult following. People just love the intimacy that she offers. But keep in mind, this is the one ship within our fleet that is not 100% veranda suites. The entry level category has a full size picture window, but no veranda and no porthole. So what does a day on board look like on Regent? Well, you're gonna wake up refreshed in your beautifully appointed suites. Maybe you're in one of these superior or concierge level suites where the bed is actually facing the veranda and you stretch, you get ready to go down 
and enjoy some breakfast. Maybe you're, you have a tour that day, so you want to go have your specialty teas or lattes uh, with a small bite to eat before you head out. Or maybe you just have uh, the morning at your leisure. So you wanted to go explore on your own. And after your morning tour or exploring on the port at your leisure, uh, it's lunchtime. So it's time to come back and enjoy a delicious lunch on board. Um, we have multiple venues for you to choose from. We also have multiple enrichment programs on board our vessels. Each ship is a floating art gallery with some incredible pieces. And through our mobile app, guests can actually go and do a uh, digital art tour of each vessel. So after you uh, get back on board, enjoy lunch, maybe uh, do an art tour, you can see that um, we also spotlight certain attractions. So for those of you that are interested in wine or culinary programs, or maybe you're interested in history, or maybe you have an affinity for art, we have these spotlight voyages with an overarching theme for you to enjoy. So after you come back on board for lunch, Maybe you go to the spa, to the infinity pool, get a nice uh, relaxing massage, or maybe ladies, you get your hair and nails done at the salon, and then go back to your suite for a nice nap before dinner, where you can get ready to go have a pre-dinner cocktail before your dinner reservations, then enjoy a delicious meal, before seeing one of our incredible performances, which there is an incredible show every single evening. Our entertainment program is unlike any other. The performers are wonderful. They get the crowds involved. They have so many different themes of performances. So there's something for everyone, but I have yet to see a show I didn't enjoy that didn't get everyone out of their seat dancing and singing. So, something to look forward to every evening. Of course, we have the casinos on board too. And then after your fun-filled day, return to your wonderful, comfortable suite with walk-in closets and marble-appointed bathrooms, dual sinks in many cases, ladies. I know how important that is. So that would be your day on board Regent. Moving forward, how do we compare? So this is a comparison between us and a trip on land using luxury hotels. So the first thing that you notice is that our starting price point remains the same throughout. And you see all of the inclusions that we went through earlier, those never change. And when you consider everything that goes into a complete vacation, all of your transfers, accommodations, meals, gratuities, and touring costs, you'll see that our pricing comes out to be much better, if not close. And why not have the peace of mind to have everything taken care of for you in a one-stop shop where you have Regent and your travel advisor reviewing everything for you, but you don't have to worry about a vacation package that has so many variables and so many different components coming together uh, to make this perfect cruise or perfect vacation for you. So at Regent, this is all thought of. We've thought of everything that goes into a complete vacation package. Your pricing doesn't change. There's no surprises. You will never be slid that bill at the end of your cruise that you need to settle up because you had already done so before you even got on board. Same thing. This is how we compare it with a premium cruise where the starting price point might be a little bit lower. But once you factor in each component that goes into a complete vacation, we come out to be very similar. So again, you might be uh, spending the same amount or slightly more with Regent, but you have that peace of mind. Everything's all inclusive. You know what you're getting. You pay for it up ahead of time. There's no surprises post-cruise and you're in luxury. You're in a larger suite size from the get. So highly recommend it. Um, give us a try. There's plenty of uh, opportunities out there for you. We we invite you all to celebrate your special occasions with us. 
any milestones, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, graduations, whatever the case may be, retirement, celebrate on board with us. Bring your friends. We have a great referral program. And speaking about that referral program, here are our latest offers and opportunities for you all. So for those of you solo travelers, we have a list of voyages that are available with a 0% single supplement. This means that you are not charged anything for being solo. You travel and pay as if you were traveling with uh, someone else. And then we have, and as an extension of this list, we have other lists with a 25% single supplement and then a 50% single supplement. So for all of you solo travelers, there are a multitude of voyages that offer some great opportunities. And then if there is a voyage that you're interested in, but maybe you do not see a single supplement discount being offered, please let your travel advisor know so that they can then reach out to us. There's no such thing as no on Regent. We will ask and find out. Continuing on, we have a list of voyages sailing in 2024 where you can get a flat 5% savings if you're able to put a non-refundable deposit. So if you know that you're gonna be traveling no matter what at a certain time uh, throughout the remainder of this year and there is a voyage that captures your eye, um, definitely look into this program because it's a great way to get yourself some savings and get on board Regent for a little less than let's say the others will on that same sailing. This is new, our Memorial Day offer. It just went live yesterday. We are very excited about this, but on select voyages in 2024 and 2025, early 2025, we are offering up to 40% off the cruise fare. And these are voyages to multiple different destinations, not just one region of the world. So definitely take a look at these options because again, if you're someone that's used to sailing on a premium cruise line, um, because those are the that's the, the line that you are familiar with, this might be a great opportunity for you to dip your toe in the water and try Regent and luxury cruising for the first time. Continuing on, share the journey. This is our referral program. This is a huge program, guys. If you um, have anyone that is confirmed on a Regent cruise, uh, they are confirmed because they've already deposited their reservation. They're sailing without doubt. That person can refer up to three new bookings to join them. So three new couples to join them or three solos to join them. The first referral that they make gets them and their and the person they referred a thousand dollars ship or credit each. Now people ask me. With you being all inclusive, what are we going to spend these onboard credits on? Well, remember I mentioned that we do have about 15% of the tours, the overall tours that we offer with a cost. Pick that port of call or ports of call that drew you to that one cruise vacation. The whole reason you're booking this cruise is because you needed to see this one port of call. Enhance your shoreside experience within that port of call. Yes, we have some incredible options within our complimentary shore excursion list. But why not take it a step further and maybe do a private car and guide in that one port of call? That's the whole reason you're taking this vacation. So you, you can refer up to three people on your confirmed reservation to join you. The first person you refer gets you $1,000 ship or credit and them $1,000 ship or credit. The next two bookings that you refer get you future cruise credits. So 1000 per booking or 2000 total. And you can apply those credits to a new voyage within one year, sailing within two years. So great way uh, to leverage friends and family or even acquaintances. If you know someone confirmed on a region cruise that you're very interested in, uh, you know, look into this program. It's there and available to you. Once again, uh, we have another offer for exotics specifically. But this is a huge, huge opportunity for you all to get on board Regent and, um, you know, get get in at a lower price point than maybe you normally would. So for these exotic sailings, up to $4,500 per person 
or up to 9,000 total in savings on select exotics destinations. So that is what I have for you guys. I thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And if there's anything else uh, that you need, Paul, let me know. Yeah, Kevin, we do have a, a good bunch of questions for you. So I hope you'd be prepared for that. Uh, so, yes. Um, you did mention that there's no there's no extra uh, for single travelers, no solo supplement, which is great. Um, a, sort of an add on to that is, are there a specific number of cabins available per ship for solo travelers? No, we don't have any solo categories. Mm -hmm. So the solo travelers get to book in the, the normal categories uh, as everyone else. And we just update the list of voyages that are available with 0% single supplement. So it's kind of like a rotating list, but we always are updating it and adding new uh, voyages and removing any that are full. Okay, great. Uh, next question, is there any type of military discount? So um, usually we we do have programs for uh, our service members and there is um, savings that can be applied to reservations. I know that we've gone out and done some publicly for a period of time, but I believe um, we can always get something upon ask. Okay, great. And uh, for people who are uh, have physical limitations, and especially those in wheelchairs, uh, what kind of accessibility is there on the ships? So we uh, we do have full accessibility on our ships. We have accessible suites specifically, but we can accommodate wheelchairs or scooters. We work with uh, companies like uh, Wheelchairs at Sea to make sure that we can get uh, the guests, anything that they might need for their crews. And then the suites themselves, especially those that are accessible or marked as accessible, you have a shower that can be rolled into. The verandas have a device where when you open the sliding glass door to walk out onto the veranda, there is a piece of metal that goes over the sliding glass door track so that you can roll out onto the veranda so the guests can enjoy the veranda they can enjoy every part of their suite oh great very good um going back to the uh, the military discount uh, does that include veterans or is it only active duty military so the public offer that we had i want to say it was about a year or two ago was active duty but again you know uh we will extend programs out to our service members and, um, you know, um, non-active duty members as well from time to time. But my answer to that is if you do have a, serv a former service member or an active duty service member, just let us know and, okay. and we'll ask. So basically a case-by-case -case basis for that? Correct. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. So for, um, is there a set deposit um, like like a percent or a dollar number when booking? Yes. So we allow all of our guests to hold reservations with no money down for up to a week or seven days. Uh, the exception to that is if you're trying to book something that sales uh, within the next month or two. You know, if you're booking something very close in, then you won't necessarily have that seven day period. But if we're talking uh, a year out or further, which most of our guests tend to book, then yes, the reservation will hold for seven days, no no charge. And then at the end of the seven day window, we ask for 15% of the total gross fare. Mm -hmm. And uh, that confirms their reservation once they've made that 15% deposit. Okay. One oh, exception to this 15% is if you're booking a world cruise or grand voyage sometimes the deposit amount can change well for the world cruise it's definitely different it's based on category and it could require a larger deposit than the 15 percent okay great um sort of a continuation of that theme is how far in advance can somebody place a deposit on a cruise? For example, this is going to be their once in a lifetime cruise to wherever, but they need to plan it out. How far in advance 
are they allowed to you know put down a deposit? So we are always releasing a year of itineraries every year. And currently we have through the first half of 2027 or 2026 for itineraries, but we just announced our 2027 world cruise, which is at the start of 2027. We will this year be announcing the second half of 26, first half of 27 as well. So we try to have multiple years out in advance for our guests to book. But as soon as a voyage is listed for sale, they can reserve it, place a deposit and confirm it. So right now you can book all the way out to 2027 and confirm it today. Oh, good. That's that. Yeah, that's really convenient. Um, so gratuities are included um, in the fair. Uh, but what if somebody is so you know enamored and appreciative of the service on board? What if they want to give a gratuity? Is that allowed or not? Absolutely. So if you just had uh, you know an, an incredible experience and there was uh, one or two of the crew that really were the ones who made that experience and you feel compelled, absolutely, we greatly appreciate it. You will have the opportunity to do so at the end of your cruise because um, everyone has extended surveys and you're able to, at that point, before you disembark, offer some additional gratuities if you wish. Okay, great. Um, I, I have one question about the dining. I think I'm a foodie, all the food looks good. And so I'm, I'm glad you went into that a bit. Um, my spouse is gluten-free, but she's gluten-free in the sense that she has um, celiac disease Right. Either at the extreme level uh, that's popped up in the last six months. Um, how do you, how does you, how does Regent deal with situations like that uh, as far as people who have a high sensitivity to um, food issues? So with, uh, with celiac disease or any of the um, dietary restrictions that we accommodate, it's we're constantly reviewing the menus at all of our restaurants, looking at how we can add new options, new and, and exciting options that will accommodate various dietary restrictions. And then in uh, certain situations, there's like a section of the kitchen that is used specifically for that dietary restriction. So there's no cross contaminating uh, you know, there's specific pots and pans and a section of the kitchen for those diets. Oh, that's, yeah, that's great. That's that's such a common issue, cross-contamination at restaurants, because they don't do that separation. I uh, have a right. separate part of the kitchen, so that's really good. <clears throat> All right. Um, any uh, other questions from the crowd before we wrap it up? But uh, yeah, this has been a great overview, Kevin. I uh, really appreciate your time. And um, yeah, I'm the um, the world tours are always on my mind for region because they look so good and why not you know go on a cruise for six months <laughs> yeah yeah exactly all right just uh, one... be waited on hand and foot the, the entire time oh no kidding so there's one final question it's about single travelers again okay um, besides a zero supplement uh does region do anything to try to attract solo travelers uh, to get on board so um, we will have these promotions that, that rotate like that 0% single supplement. On those voyages that are offering a 0% single supplement, we do expect to have more single or solo travelers on board. So we have social hosts on board, they have cocktail parties, they do events to kind of include the solos and um, help them make new friends and meet people on board. So there's definitely, um, yeah, there's definitely like events and catering towards the solos who travel with us. Okay, great. Um, that, that's that been really uh, a bunch of great information and it's good to learn what's going on with Regent. And, you know, when I first came across Regent, uh, the thing that really stuck out to me was when they say all-inclusive, they actually mean it <clears throat> um, as in comparison to some of the others. And I think that's a really good distinguishing feature that you offer. 
But uh, anyway, uh, thanks everybody for being here and uh, especially Kevin for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us. So appreciate that. And uh, if we have other questions, can we drop you a line? Yes, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a good uh, rest of your week.